What up, YouTube? Jesse here with Just Man Sports Cards. Going to do a couple weeks of picking up rock cards and graded cards. I can't remember. I don't have an exact order, so I won't be showing everything that I've picked up over like the last four weeks. But just a hodgepodge of stuff. Um, we'll start with graded, and we'll work up through the years. 93 collectors, or 95 collectors choice. Collectors platinum. I've talked about these before. It's going to have both circles uh, to be platinum. And then they all they have like a, a look to them. The backs, whoops, all look the same. They're pretty fragile cards. And they're actually quite rare. Uh, I've talked about them before. They're, you get one per box, and then uh, the set is like 250. So it takes 250 boxes to get one of these. I looked up the pops on... PSA before I, I did the video. So this is a pop two, none higher. And I paid $36 after shipping so, or including shipping, however you want to look at that. I thought that was a deal. Star date. These are cool cards. Ray Allen. This was $13. So you can't even grade it for that much. The Kobe's quite a bit, and then the AI is, is quite a bit too. Um, some stuff is just getting so cheap, it's hard not to buy. This was $57, PSA 10. This one I probably overpaid a little bit for. It's its finest. It's the rare version, uh, H22. And the pop on these, it's a pop 16 and a PSA 8. And then there's 61 higher. So it's less than 100 cards. And there's raw ones floating out there. It's got the etching, like the back pages talks about, those back pages. So cool card, and I paid up just because of the centering. So it's, most of the eights are like way off center. They're like touching one edge almost. So to me, this from a centering standpoint looked like a nine, and that's why I paid up. And you do that, and it says eight. And let me try to figure out where I got an eight. There's no real white corners or anything. So there might be like a weird print line or something like that, but uh, if grading ever got super cheap, I might feel randy and, and send it in. Cards are... You've seen me pick these up before. If you watch my channel, The Explosion, these are pretty rare. It's like a, it's a metal card. And it's got rounded edges. I've never graded any myself. I do have some raw ones of this one. This is a Pop 19 uh, with 49 higher. So that's about 70 total. Um, which I would consider pretty rare. And I paid $35 for this. So um, his... His tops chrome goes for about that much, and the population on that is like 1,800. So something 100 times more rare is the same price. That's what, well, that's kind of what I'm about, is finding the more rare stuff. Moving up in the years, 2008, this is an X-Fractor. Um, it's mislabeled. He had the refractor and the X refractor listed together, and he noted that they were mislabeled. So some people won't pay like kind of full, full going value for that. But I've worked with PSA before on these, and you just have to, it takes a little bit. You have to submit something online. You show them the card, and then they pay for shipping both ways. So it's it's really just time and energy to get it fixed. Out of two ninety nine, um, I'm not sure who the big rookie in 08 is. 
07, and it would be uh, Durant. Football is coming around. Um, I, I had picked up some Julio stuff last year, and he just did not have a good year with the Titans. I thought he it was he had a chance to possibly win a Super Bowl if everything clicked, but I watched those games and he just didn't have any speed. So you could tell his hamstring, I think it was a hamstring injury, wasn't fully fixed. Uh, let's see. So this was 67. So you couldn't even get him to sign anything for 60 bucks nowadays. So the fact that it's graded it's numbered on a 90 by an excellent brand, Tops. I just don't. Where you compare it to some of the, the modern receivers. These are actually gorgeous cards. Uh, it's the first one I've picked up. I picked up a 9 and an 8. The 8 hasn't showed up. This is a 9. The 9 is... Uh, Pop 94 with 52 higher, so not super rare, but under 150 total. I paid 60 bucks for it. Some people are playing the receiver game and then the modern game, and um, I try to kind of go on and, and figure out what makes sense. And Julio is by far the, the one with the most receiving yards that's active. And that's still the youngest. So he's at 1,300 yards. Um, and I think this is the thing. He's going to get picked up by someone. And he only has to have 600 yards to pass Chris Carter. So I think that will get talked about this year. Uh, he has to have a 1,000-yard season to crack the top 10. That's going to be tougher to do. Um, but Randy Moss. Uh, so this is 2,000 yards basically moves him into legendary status. So does he have three years in him at 800 yards a piece or four years at 600 yards a piece? And it, at four yards, that would be about as long as Randy Moss played. So that's kind of, to me, it's much safer play. These are safe, rare cards. Uh, so they're not, I don't see them going down in value. I don't know how they could get any cheaper. First year of a select prism. I have two eights of the Dirk. Uh, etching, like the back page just talks about, it's just basically like it does make the card look way better in hand. It's a prism, which you could also call a refractor. Uh, it needs to say that. Uh, the LeBron, the Kobe of these. Um, the staff goes for crazy money. Um, Dirk, let's see. Get my cheat sheet back out. This is a pop 15 with three higher. So less than 20 of them. At this grade or, or higher. And I paid $18 for this. I can't even grade it for that. So... Not sure what's going on there. Gorgeous card here. This is 2014 Select. The Silver Prism. I think I'm starting to learn modern better. Uh, so, like 2015 and older. I still don't know, like, Ultra Martin that well. This has got a little etching on it, so that's cool. It's just a gorgeous card, a PSA 10. Um, it does say Prism, so it's legit. This was a uh, Pop 4, none higher. I mean, it's a 10. And I worked the deal this, the same day that this got listed. I think he had it listed for one. 50 and it took about the whole day and I got him down to 75 but I just kind of think about the 
1986 um, PSA 10 sticker of his did, I forget, it was over, it was a lot more than the Jordan rookie. So it was like over 200 grand. And it's like a pop two or a pop four, something like that. Um, so I don't know. It just seems like this should be worth more than 75 bucks. Orange wave. It's got etching. It's got the waviness to it. The classic sky hook. So it looks very similar to his uh, 1979 photo card. I don't think it's the same photo. It's got the prism. This is a pop one, none higher. $30. So it's outside of his playing years, but these guys just didn't have many playing year cards. So it makes it funner for me to collect. The Pinot Man would say, so shiny. Uh, etching, gorgeous card. Nine. This does have a base version. So this is the prism, which is more rare. Pop 14, nine higher, so you're looking at less than 21 of cards of these. There's probably more raws out there. They're not easy to find. You had to buy it now for 25 with free shipping. So cheaper than current grading. It just my first Mahomes card. I'm a Chiefs fan. Uh, for people that have watched the channel before, I grew up in Missouri. Went to high school, college there. Basically grew up probably 20 years of my life there. His rookie stuff is it's pricey. Uh, so this is second year. Playoff ticket. So it's numbered to 175. Um... You will see these pop up in auctions and stuff. Um, I almost pulled the trigger last year, and I got the guy down to 110. And I just, I didn't buy it. And then the cheapest I could find them now is like 150. So I just worked with a couple of dealers, and I got them down to $94. He's already won a Super Bowl. Um, hopefully he gets another one, but... So we'll move on to Raw. We'll maybe pick up the pace a little bit. Um, Bowman, this is 08, right? Or 2009. This is Curry's uh, rookie year. So he has won their... Number to this, his, the Curry Rookie is crazy. Uh, it's all blue border, so there, it's really hard to, I picked this up at the card show I set up at. He had three copies, I picked the best one. Six bucks for a number, Dr. J. Works for me. I got this through a Facebook group. Um, the things, the, the thing you have to be careful with the cards that don't have a full edge is like, people will, I don't even like doing it, is they'll do this. It's just cardboard. So even like this, you can damage it by, uh, back in the day we used to do it with packs of cigarettes, and you would damage the box by doing it. So you can definitely damage the cardboard by doing that. So just being aware of that and what happens with most these is they get uh, bent and it's not easy to see on listings but you can see that little crease there yeah right there PSA will catch that it's like it's really hard to see I mean that's what a listing would look like and that looks pretty good but 
then you get it in hand and you can tell etching um like i said i got this through a facebook group it was like a fair price for the card and then i just sent them a close-up of it and said you can see it there right yeah so just be aware any card that doesn't have a full bottom edge it's it's very common because people just slam the cards gold these were rare i paid like two bucks um it's pretty jacked but so for two bucks um i'll take it it's like a binder card Hakeem. the jordan of these goes for a lot of money for a couple hundred bucks i guess that's a lot of money to me ruby uh these are one per box and then whatever this set was so you're looking at 150 boxes to get the player you want. I don't remember how much I paid for all these raw cards. Uh, the Jordan of this is really expensive, so sometimes what I'll do is I'll pick up a raw of a lesser player just to see if I actually like the card. Um, the photos typically aren't good because they look like that, and you're like, what's the big deal? But I had seen videos on these. It's got etching where it actually looks like a, a vinyl record. So they're pretty cool cards. They're fairly rare. Uh, Weber, he's Hall of Famer. Um, so it's not like, I think this was like seven bucks, something like that. This is an, another one, uh, Jermaine O'Neal. I don't think he'll end up in the Hall of Fame. Um, it's got a big print line that you can see there. Right there, yeah. It runs up the whole thing of it, and then... But this was cheap. It was like four or five bucks. Uh, this is the ZP, Zavu. Um, so this came in Z-Force. It has to say ZP to be the rare version. There are just the Zabutes. Zabutes, however you want to say that. Um, which aren't near as rare. They're still fairly rare, but this is like the refractor super rare version, the AIs and the Kogis go for redonkulous amounts. Um, so then I kind of do this just to figure out, like if I was to pay up a lot for a nice AI or a Kobe, would I enjoy it in hand? Um, I think I would. It's a pretty card. Rare. Uh, these are fresh faces. These are like one per 72 packs. I got this in a lot deal um, in a Facebook group, so it was, these are really hard to get in. I got this at a farmer's market, not a farmer's, yeah, antique show that they do around my neighborhood like once a month. There's a, guy, a couple guys that set up with cards, and they just go around to garage sales, and I pulled this out. It's, it's just a dirty case that I need to probably take it out of. Um, I paid $5 for this, and then from a, another guy that same day. Like I said, they just go around to garage sales as they pick a stuff for the dirt cheap. They don't even know what they're buying, and then they sling it at these antique things. Um, so it's like a card show. It, it takes time to go through the raw boxes. I paid 5 bucks for this. So they're, they're both probably worth at least 10 Sharif. This is kind of another one. These cards are really taken off. So it's like, would I like it in hand if I paid up for an AI or a Jordan or a Kobe? I think they're they're nice cards. They're maybe a little overpriced right now, though. In my opinion. Platinums. We talked about the Shack. How rare they are. I own some Jordans as well. I watched. I'm starting to collect AI more. I, I just like collect them more than Kobe. I relate to them more. It's numbered to a thousand. That was kind of pricey. It was twenty five bucks. 
magic. This is a dollar plus shipped in the envelope for a dollar, two bucks. It's like uh, minus moments or something like that. It's numbered out at three ninety nine. This was a Facebook deal too. It was these two cards. I paid four dollars for the Pierce and like ten or twelve bucks for the Nash. This guy's really popular, and the main reason is I picked him up. I have pulled it out. It doesn't have that on it. Uh, so I try to pull all the cards out when I get them and just make sure there's no crazy defect. This was 57 bucks. So, like I said, the Julio was just $10 more. Um, but he's going to play with Mahomes. So I, th I think that'll make it funner to watch. So I picked up some Juju stuff. Uh, Marquez Vladez. I picked up some of his stuff. I've tried to run the numbers of who I think has a shot, and um, you'll see who I kind of I think here. Stefan Diggs. I wish his signature was better. 2015 class. So he's on track. He's, he's got to have a couple, a couple, like actually more than a couple uh, thousand yard seasons to stay on track, but um, I picked up they make a blue and a brown version of this. This is from, uh, in basketball, the Unorna is Court Kings. This is Gridiron Kings. It's an expensive set. It's got like a canvas feel. These were cheap though. Two, three bucks. I like the blue version better. Clear, clear vision. These are just kind of like a hold raw for me right now. I, I don't know that I'll grade them. Clear vision. Um, these cards are finally picking up in basketball. Uh, and this is numbered out of 99. These were cheap. And this was probably a little less than that. I paid like eight, nine bucks for it. And then someone from the same class. Stefan, I, he's, he's with uh, Josh Allen, right? So I think he's going to be, I think that's right. I could be wrong there. Um, Mr. Cooper's in with the Browns, so his future is uh, who knows? It's out of five. This was cheap. Some of the Great Iron King cards. Got a patch out of ten. Another Juju. Origins. Hey, this is not uh, his rookie card. No. I don't, or is it 2017? Um, this might be his rookie. I could be wrong. This is Origins. Some people would call it a gold. It's out of 10. And this definitely is not his rookie. Don't hate me for not knowing everything. Marquez. Uh, he'll play with Mahomes this year. So this is more like just PC stuff. It's not, I don't know that it has any long-term value, but it makes the game so much funner to watch. I've learned that with football cards. It makes a huge difference for me. Uh, if you've seen some of my videos, I did well with these. Um, you got to really pay attention. Uh, that's definitely not a 10 right there. Maybe an eight. Um, you can get them for seven, ten bucks. So you just have to kind of go through them until you think you got a shot. And this one I paid up for. You don't see these too often. The red. You can see a little bit of edging there. But this was fifty bucks. Um, and then one of these. So I got, um, I got busy trying to organize all the cards that I got back from PSA and then trying to figure out my inventory here. Um, it, it was just, I needed some weeks of organizing and figuring out how I'm going to do stuff. And it was, it just took a minute. 
So I, I got my stuff more organized and I, I can plug it back to videos. I still want to mix up how I do the videos. Um, I just need to order some equipment. And then I, I have harvest season coming up quickly. So hopefully I'll stay up on the videos. Uh, I enjoy watching everyone that puts out content. So I try to put out my own as well. Uh, feel free to tell me uh, what cards you like. Um, feel free to tell me if you think I'm crazy for collecting anyone. Uh, yeah, or if I'm way off base or if you think I'm on to something, let me know. Hope everyone's doing well and uh, tomorrow's Friday. So happy Friday to everyone.